Morning. Sitamani here again. How are you? Got the uh, tablet jammed in a tree. Hope it's not too windy and that the sound turns out well. Um, yesterday and today I've been um, reading and watching a um, uh, report on um, the Empower Network that's been prepared by Len Clements, who's the owner of a website, Net uh, NM something. I'll put the link underneath this uh, video anyway. Um, and um, he has spent five months um, preparing this report. Just amazing amount of time. Uh, and as he jokes, he doesn't have much of a life <laughs> to spend that long. Anyway, I watched a video that he made this morning accompanying his uh, written report. The written report goes for ages. Um, there's also a video that runs for like four and a half hours. Sorry, an audio, an audio recording that runs for about four and a half hours of Len um, talking to Dave um, about the problems that he sees inside the Empower Network business. And a lot of the problems, I mean, he's talking about legal problems and things like that, uh, the setup, the design, um, whether it complies with all of the laws in the United States, especially all the different laws that go from state to state uh, and so on. Uh, it's a, such a comprehensive report and he, Len actually admits in his um, video, excuse my arms, that I wear this to keep the sun off my arms when I'm walking around the golf course because I'm in the sun for at least two and a half, three hours doing that and uh, poor old arms start to suffer. <laughs> uh, anyway, he, he, um, he really did a lot of preparation in, in actually interviewing Dave. He also interviewed Dave um, Sharp as well. So it's extremely comprehensive, and as he admits in his um, video that he made, he really likes the two guys, um, and uh, he thinks, well, probably they used their hypnotic suggestion on him. <laughs> but they are truly likeable guys anyway. Um, uh, I really uh, enjoy listening to both of them now, um, <clears throat> anytime. So I thought I'd just address a couple of the points that... Um, Len makes in his uh, final summary just a couple of the points. Not, not. I'm not going to be as comprehensive as he was. Gosh, five months he spent on it, and he, he as he says, he'd, he'd, he'd sort of get close to finishing it, and then Dave Wood would send him some more information that he'd already asked for. He just literally opened up the business to this guy. He really did. Gave him everything that he asked for, and a lot of the things that that Len found that were problem or problematic. Um, Dave has agreed that Empower Network will fix. For example, the the, the um, income disclaimer, it's, it's everywhere now on every every audio, audio that you listen to, um, every document they put out, it's very boldly claimed there. And of course, there's a link on every website to it. But anyway, so um, Len probably has helped a little bit in making Empower Network a little bit more compliant with all these rules and regulations that exist to protect you and me. Um, now, he, uh, one of the points he makes is, um, why would um, anybody joining the Empower Network buy all the products to start with? And as he says, and, and I agree with him, um, you would buy the first product, which is the blogging platform, and then you would say, okay, I need to learn something here, so you'd buy the next product, which is the um, Costa Rica Intensive, which is $500, and then you would spend maybe one, two weeks watching all those videos and, and learning it. And then you might say, okay, I'll buy the next product, which is the $1,000 15K formula. And there's oh, over 100 hours of training in there. So that's going to take you maybe a month to learn it all or to go through it all. So, And that, that was the point he was making. Now, I, that's a valid point. But what I think he's missing is, um, if I buy something, it doesn't matter what it is, I can buy a Mack truck and, and go on eBay and then resell it immediately or do what my brother does, he's always buying motorbikes. And he'll resell them before he even has them in his physically in his hands. A lot of people do that on eBay. So if I buy any one of those five products that the Empower Network has and sell it immediately, without even looking at it, is there a law against that? So I think his argument falls down a little bit there. Um, and the main advantage, of course, uh, of buying them, and this is what he criticises Empower Network for telling people, the main advantage is, well, there are two, as I see them, two, the training and um, getting commissions from selling them, 100% commissions from selling them. You don't want to miss out on those commissions. But 
the fact whether you've actually um, read them all, listened to them all, and learned from them all is immaterial in my eyes. Uh, that's your choice. You might come into the Empower Network with um, many years of experience in online marketing, but you might say, okay, these are good products, I want to buy them and I want to resell them. There you go. I, I can't see any problem with that. Um, another um, point that he harps on a little bit is the fact that the two Daves are affiliates of their own company. Now, he says, he gives the example of um, if um, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie had a dating business and you could choose between them or somebody else, who would you choose? And he says everyone would choose Brad Pitt, not him. Well, I would beg to differ. I wouldn't choose Brad Pitt. I would choose Len Clements. I think he's a sweet guy. He looks lovely. Uh, he might be a bit nerdy, but okay. He's, he's, I think he's got a lot going for him, and he's obviously a hard worker because he's done all of this work for nothing. I think he should send him Power Network a bill, actually, <laughs> for all of this effort that he's put in. They'll probably pay it, too. <laughs> So um, the fact that they're um, owners and affiliates, it's interesting, but I don't see any problem with it. Um, I don't think Dave Wood's stealing uh, potential customers from me. Um, he uses the same marketing that I use. How can anybody tell what who's marketing what anyway? If your your ad is appearing in different places on Facebook, whatever, you you often can't tell who it's from. Uh, unless the, the name is on the actual splash page that you're going to. Um, and even then, if you know the name, maybe you don't even know who that person is, whether it's the owner or whether it's an affiliate, unless it says, says so. So I think it's a bit of a spurious argument. And David says he's got, David Wood says he's got over 5,000 um, personal recruits. Well, good luck to him, I reckon. Go for it, boy. He's the He started the business. He risked all his money starting it up. He's the one... In the, in the firing line if the business falls so he's got more to lose than any of us and uh, having owned two of my own traditional businesses in the past I wanted to be the biggest earner in those businesses I'd taken all the risk, I'd put all my money in all my heart, all my drive, all my work good luck to him and uh, of course the other argument is there's only 9 billion people on earth, gosh, Dave's got 5,000 of them, there's none left for me how tough is that? <laughs> um Another thing um, he talks about is he sort of makes a joke about the culture of the place. And he says, you know, the root word of culture is cult. Quite a few people are, are, are comment like that about Empower Network, um, especially people who've tried it and fail. And they go off saying it's a cult. Well, yeah, OK, it's a good cult, though. I like it. <laughs> uh, it's got a culture of not putting up with whingers and whiners and belly aches and complainers. It's lovely. It's wonderful. I can't stand all those whinges. And, and um, I find it, even at my age of 66, having been in Empower Network for a while now, it's changed my outlook as well. So, and that that truly is a culture of a company. It becomes a culture of a company, especially with the, the live events where you've got six more than 6,000 people going to them now. They're all going to get imbued with those same uh, attitudes. And it's a positive, affirming, believing attitude that makes people feel happy, comfortable, and I don't mind it at all. Um, he also talks on about sales tax and how, oh, they've got all this sales tax they're going to have to pay. Well, um, I'm in Australia and um, the government's trying to find ways of um, stopping people from buying all these products from overseas at ridiculously low prices, especially from the States, electrical products from the States, where we're not paying any, what they call it here a GST, it's a goods and services tax. Um, there's also a sales tax, but the, the one that they're really whinging about is the GST tax, that, that nobody is charging people here when they buy stuff from overseas. And of course, the, a lot of the local businesses, the shop, shopkeepers are complaining about this. They're losing sales to overseas businesses. They haven't got uh, solved the problem yet. They, they haven't, uh, they're not charging people who are, bringing goods in from overseas, they're not charging them any local GST. So uh, it's it's a common problem everywhere. And uh, I don't think you need to lump Empower Network in with um, the government when they've got these sorts of problems. They've got to sort it out themselves. And I don't think there's going to be any problem with that anyway. It's just something that can be sorted. It's a, it's a technicality, let's face it. So I was really interested to, especially to watch Len's video, and I encourage you to watch it as well. He he goes on to say how he really liked Dave and Dave. Well, 
you know, it's important in any business to like the owners. Um, because let's face it, they're the drivers of the business and they're the ones that have set it up and as, as the two Daves say, they got sick of joining businesses where they could recruit literally thousands of people, but those thousands of people couldn't recruit anyone else because they didn't have the same skills they had. At least with Empower Network, the skills set is all there for you. Uh, it's up to you. If you're going to whinge and whine and complain that you can't do it, piss off. <laughs> Leave it to the ones that want to have a go. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good one. If you're not in Empower Network, can I encourage you to at least have a look? It's the bee's knees. See you later.